Welcome back to Barrel and Grain. Today, Bardstown Bourbon Company's Origin Series. So this here is just their new lineup they just put out in January. Uh, this here is their six-year-old weeded bourbon. So it is bottle and bond. So obviously you got the new oak, white oak cask. You got the government regulations that are all met to be a bottle and bond. And it's distilled in one single season. So this was actually distilled fall of 2016. Um, it does say everything on the side, just like all the Bardstown products. Um, so the Origin Series is coming out of Bardstown. So this is not sourced. There's no sourced whiskey, mixed, blended, anything out. This is all straight from Bardstown. So on that note, let's give it a shot and see what we got today. So Hunter Proofer, obviously a ball and bond. Uh, right off the nose, I get caramel. Definitely get the dark fruit. Oh, price wise, forty nine ninety nine is what I saw. A lot of people I actually got mine in my area for about forty six. So for that ten dollar per year, you're definitely getting value. So can't wait to taste this. Hopefully, this is going to be as good as I can imagine. And as you guys have all known, Barstown is known for the great blending skills. Their collaborations with a lot of people, and they put out really good stuff. The discos, the fusions, and then obviously the collaborative series they put out each year. All right. So right out the gate, that is very easy. Mouthfeel in the first taste, kind of on the lighter side. Uh, doesn't really coat the mouth a lot, but you get that classic wheat bourbon taste. Seems a little bit thin. Try a little more, hopefully. Coat the palate a little bit. I do get a lot of the dark fruit, slight bit of oak, and primarily dark fruit. Definitely tastes like a classic weeded bourbon. Six year old coming in at $46, that is well worth the price. And because this is first crack, I'm kind of curious to see how this thing's going to open up. I haven't even got down past the shoulder, just opened it today, and got to actually let it sit for a minute. Oh, I want to say I get a slight hint of banana on it, but it's still kind of covered up with the other fruits behind it. Very dark fruit, not quite cherry, more of like a raisin fig. Yeah. Stays consistent. I don't want to say it's, it's not super complex. It kind of stays consistent with this taste. You can get that fruit. It seems kind of thin. The finish is medium to light. Um, very easy to drink, though, on that note. So their Origin Series, they actually put out three of them. There's a Kentucky Straight Bourbon, there's a Bottle and Bond, there's also supposed to be a Rye. I did see later on, I think in February, don't quote me on that, but I think they have another one, another, the Rye gets released to the origin, from what I remember seeing from the release calendar. Overall, six-year product, 46 bucks I paid for this. That is well worth money, and this is a great everyday drinker. Can't wait to see you. What the other ones taste like. I have seen the Kentucky Street Bourbon. I know they have uh, another white and I think black label out there that they just come out with. Or white and I forget what the other color was. But I do know I've seen two of them together. I haven't actually got to try the other one. Uh, I think the other one's the Kentucky Straight Bourbon, which means it's at least two years old. 
but that doesn't mean how old it really is though. Kind of get a little bit of a mineral taste to it. Not dickle mineral. But a little bit a little bit of a mineral taste. But then again, it could just because I first opened it. Very fruit forward. Very soft. The spice is a little bit there for the hunter proof, but it's not aggressive at all. It's very light spice. Overall, it's kind of what you would expect a weeder would be at this proof, especially at 46 bucks. To get a six year old, um, most people don't actually put the age statements of the six year old on there, but this one actually does. Overall, I would say it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's a fantastic bottle, but it is what it is for six year old weeded bourbon at 46 bucks. So, that being said, if you see this and you're a big weeder fan, definitely worth trying. Great daily sipper, the way it's going. I can't wait to see how this opens up and what it's going to turn into. Uh, it's Barstown Bourbon. I've really never had anything bad from Barstown that I can recall at all. I know I've had their collaborations, and some of those can be depending on who's palates what but i can say all the ones i've had have been great and fantastic and usually i if i can i try to get one more to put put away like everybody else um but on that note uh thanks for stopping in if you guys see something like this and you're interested hopefully my notes will help you make your decision and uh kind of give you my perspective of what i learned and maybe maybe help you along your way uh but like comment subscribe until then keep hunting